Hello everybody, my name is Parak, and in today's video we're going to continue working on the ZSD spam build. I did change around a little bit this time, I put on an augmented weapon, because of course I've augmented my dragon weapon for full element. So, you probably know what we're going to go fight, but here are the augments of course, they're still the same, basically all the armor pieces are the same. Talisman's still here, the Berserk 1 with 2-2 two -two slots. I did get told, probably try out Switch Charger, which initially I thought, nah not going to be worth it in the slightest. And then I read a bit further, once activated your switch gauge won't deplete for a while, so use this technique to gain the advantage at the start of the battle. I knew it recharged some of the gauge, I didn't know it makes it not deplete, so that'll be interesting. And here are all the skills and decorations, of course all the green numbers are from decorations, the only difference here is that I swapped out some more damage for power prolonger, because that was also mentioned, which I could see working, so May as well try it out, if not, I'd probably go back to attack boost, because it gives the most damage boost to the final part of ZSD, which is where most of the damage comes from. Also, chucked in one wire bug whisperer, because I had an extra two slot. But to test it, of course, I gotta take it to my girl Rathian, see the full potential of this build, essentially, with a fully augmented weapon, everything set up properly, in theory at least. Alrighty, as with the other ones, of course, I gotta chug an immunizer, just to help out initially. Once I get the part break, it should be pretty easy to maintain my health. Especially with how much uh, damage this is dealing, and of course the healing output is pretty solid. But uh, the main part we got to remember here is our counter is on the red scroll here, which means I can only counter on this scroll, and then otherwise I just have to try and land as much damage as humanly possible. So that'll be uh, the goal is to try to remember that. I was way too slow on that counter, god dang. Uh, but yeah, let's swap a scroll here in a second, just so we can get the stuff active. I'm going to wait for a decent opening to actually uh, switch gauge, or uh, switch charge. She's also a good test because obviously she does quite a bit of like element stuff, morph immediately so we can move. Right, let's charge it up. There we go. Oh yeah, it's got a protective polish symbol on there, okay. I completely forgot about that, I'm not even going to lie. But we are taking a lot of damage. Berserk 1 is definitely brutal. But that's alright, we can get it. something going here in a second. Nope, she followed. Oh, that was scary. Swap scroll so we get our damage buff. Bop, bop. Chase her down. May as well do another one. The infinite thing doesn't last too long though, which is the only issue I'm seeing here. Obviously you can still spam it. Oh, nope. So you can keep your gauge pretty well. As long as you can land back on the monster, you should be pretty good. Hop on here. Nah, I was way too slow. I could have hyper-armored through the attack with the attack itself. Oh, she missed. That's okay. Run over to her. Yeah, that really doesn't last long at all. So I just got to use it for the charging part. As you can see, it does some solid damage though, for sure. With a fully augmented weapon. Dodge that. Morph and switch gauge, because she's going to pop you. No? I thought we wouldn't get the check there. None of that. Okay, let's heal again. She's popping now. Oh, on the wrong thing. Set that up. Jump over it. Okay. Get a counter here. Turn, please. Thank you. Oh, that's trample. That's not great. Okay, she double trampled. That's fine. Swap there. Nope, none of that. Go over to her and hop on. She moved, unfortunately. Nope. There we go. That'll work. Grab the face. Get some good damage. Nice and easy. Oh, the pop confused me there for a second, but that's what we're, it's fine. Uh, do wild swing combo here because I don't want to waste this opening. Getting the uh, amp gauge or switcher gauge done. Pop. Okay, nice. Easy stuff. Some more damage. Also, don't have intrepid heart on this one, which is a little bit scary, but that's fine. It's honestly not that bad, I don't think. Bang. Nice, Sue. I also set up the um. The exhaust variation of this, so like build-up boost and stuff, it'll be interesting to see. I don't think I can grab her out of the air. Was worth a shot, I think, but uh, didn't feel like it would work. Oh, that trample's not giving me anomaly blight, that's brutal. Okay. Nope. We've taken so much hits. Should miss me. Yep. Let's uh, hop on, because it should build up the bats pretty good. Hopefully, and it should heal me. Nice, Sue. Get back down to her. Okay. 
I feel like I'm missing out so much damage using the, the switch gauge though. Because you can see now I, I don't have gauge or my wire bugs, so I literally can't do anything in terms of damage here. I do want to swap though, because we still obviously get my uh, strife boost, which is real nice. But, uh, just do basic combos there. Some more hits. Interesting. Okay, some more hits again. Hop on. Nice Sue. Get some more damage rolling. Not on the face either, but th that's alright. We still get damage. Immediately swap. Okay. Wild swing into it, just to get some more gauge real quick. Hop in, and then we do that. Nope. If it ended in um, Axe, maybe, might be a bit better. Because that way I can do it towards him, and then hop on straight away. But, uh... Yeah, I don't know. I think I'm indifferent on this so far. Just finish it off so we get the burst. Go back down to her, into a double swing, and some raw combo. We've still got... No, we don't. I thought I still had the infinite thing, but that's okay. Finally got Anomaly Blight. Should go through that. Go towards her again. Another double swing. Into charge, maybe. Nah, didn't get it off in time. Yeah, so we just wasted a bug. And we don't have any gauge. It's alright, wild swing. I think that's a it's a misplay, <laughs> honestly. Obviously, if I can refine the playstyle down a bit more, it might be better, but uh From the feel of it so far, I think what I had figured out where we're like spamming the morph switch, uh morph swap to build up gauge really quick is probably better. Like this here. Because we just get like a third of our thing back. But that's okay. Hop on here. We're going to be out of uh, gauge here as well, so we'll have to do our switch charger. Nice and easy damage. Okay. Oh, that's... Oh! Okay. Thank you, cats. I have no way to heal here. Actually, we got the broken part on the face, I think. Yeah, we do. Let's smack the face. Get some more damage. The explosion as well. But Nice. Trample. Thank you for that anomaly blight. Chased her down, but I forgot she does a triple trample, obviously. Hop on. There we go. Easy damage. Should be a good chunk of damage here, too. Maybe knock her down. Nah. Double swing. Just to finish off the gauge that we had. Let's morph. Or, uh, sword gauge. Whatever. Switch charger, I think it's called. Into some more combos. We do another ZSD here, because she's about to move. Ah, uh, didn't work. That's fine. Cancel it. Some more hits. Morph again. And again. What? Okay, just don't attack with it. That's fine. Hop on again. Get some more damage. But you can definitely spam it a lot more, though, I feel like, which is good. I just don't think it's better than what we had, unfortunately. Oh, I thought I had enough bar. That's fine. But hop on the face. Some more damage. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Easy stuff. Another Soaring Wyvern into Morph. Okay. Morph again. Some more damage. And again, and then we switch charge. Oh, nice. I think the cat gave me earplugs at the perfect time. Hop on. Oh, <laughs> it didn't want to grab the face. That would have been perfect too, because we would have dodged the attack. But that's okay. We should be able to out heal this. This damage. Oh my god, look at the healing! <laughs> I'm just gonna get deleted as soon as I uh, lose Anomaly Blight though, which is a bit of a concern. Yeah, let's fix that. Heaven Sent removed my uh, afflictions for me, which is real good. Top ourselves off. Nope. Okay. Go back in, get some more swings in. She should be very close to dead here. No! Trample! Okay, grab the bubble. Should come back. Okay, nice. Sue, get some more swings. And again. Nope. And bop. And bop. Nice. Broke the zit. Come on. you got to be so close now. Ah, oh, I was hoping it would hit the face. Because I would have got enough charge to hop on there. That's alright though. That's not what I input, but it worked out. 8.12. It's like 3 or 4 minutes slower than what I think it would have done. But that's alright. I definitely think if you want to purely spam ZSD, this might be better. But you're going to do a lot less damage using Switch Charger, I feel like. Because you think about it, you waste all this bar, right? And then you lose a ch huge chunk. Instead of just going, okay, I want my gauge back, just do this. And you're mobile at the same time. 
So three combos and you're good to go, basically. Well, everybody, that was some more of the ZSD spam builds. I think we're definitely onto something, but I think the previous setup I had was a little bit better in damage because you still have access to your instant charge with the amp gauge, and then you've got the just constant morph slash to get your switch gauge back while you're still getting damage out at the same time. But either way, in the next one, I think I'm going to test out the build-up boost variation. I've already got the build made. Everything's already done on it. I just got to change some things in accordance to what happened in this video. As always, though, thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you in the next one.